Assalamualaikum and a very good day to all of you. My name is Nur Ashikin binti Abu Bakar from University Malaysia Perlis. Today, I would like to present my research paper entitled Dual Solution of Boundary Layer Flow and Heat Transfer in Hybrid Nanofluid over a Stretching or Shrinking Cylinder. I am collaborated with Rohana Abdul Hamid. We both from uh, the same institution. First of all, let me brief uh, to you uh, the abstract of this research. The boundary layer flow over a stretching or shrinking cylinder in hybrid nanofluid with the effects of suction, partial slip and convective boundary condition is studied. Hybrid nanoparticle that we use in this research are alumina and titania with water as a base fluid considered in this study. For the mathematical modeling, the partial differential equation are transformed to ordinary differential equations by employing the similarity variable eta. The numerical results are obtained by using BVP4C codes in MATLAB software to uh, investigate the influence of nanofluid volume fraction, uh, VARFI1 and VARFI2, curvature parameter that is uh, corresponds to cylinder parameter gamma, suction parameter S, partial slip parameter sigma and bayet number BI on the velocity profile temperature profile, skin friction coefficient, and heat transfer rate are discussed. The numerical results indicates that for the shrinking surface, which is S less, uh, sorry, which is epsilon less than zero, the dual solutions exist for a certain range of curvature parameter and suction parameter. Section 1 introduction is list out the main references or literature reviews in this paper. For the first one, Choi 1995, who the first uh, proposed the term of nanofluid, where nanofluid is a mixture of one nanoparticle with base fluid. And in uh, uh, previous years, about a decade ago, so many papers uh, study about boundary layer flow in nanofluid. One of the paper, Bakar et al. 2019, also study about the nanofluid. But nowadays, we have uh, innovative for the nanofluid where we discuss or examine the study of boundary layer flow in hybrid nanofluid, where hybrid nanofluid is combination two nanoparticles in base fluid uh, in the study. The significance of hybrid nanofluid is hybrid nanofluid can give uh, more enhancement in heat transfer rate where uh, it, it means that hybrid nanofluid is better than nanofluid. So since um, previous years, about four to five years, the study of hybrid nanofluid is uh, relevant nowadays. Okay, so uh, Ali, Kashi, Otman, Wahid, Wahid, Waini and Zainal have discussed about the hybrid nanofluid. In this research, we aim for the study where we want to investigate the effects of suction, slip, and thermal convective boundary condition and boundary layer flow and heat transfer over a stretching or shrinking cylinder in hybrid nanofluid. Because the uh, lack of papers 
that investigate the effect, the effect of suction, slip and thermal convective bond recognition. In section 2, problem formulation, we start with um, introduce the partial differential equation, con continuity equation 1 with momentum equation 2 and energy equation 3 together with boundary condition equation 4. Independent variable eta and stream function psi are introduced in the study where eta and psi uh, must, in, must substitute into the formula of u and v because from u and v we need to start uh, derive the mathematical modeling to get the new momentum and energy equation as mentioned in equation 6 and 7 together with the new boundary condition uh, equation 8 where uh, gamma is curvature parameter sigma is slip parameter epsilon is stretching or shrinking cylinder s for suction bayard for convective uh, boundary condition. The physical quantities of physical interest uh, are skin fusion coefficient and local Nusselt number, which are given in equation 9 and 10 respectively. And by replacing equation 11 and uh, sorry, uh, equation 9 and 10 into equation 11 to and 12 we create the physical quantities in equation 13 and 14. Table 1 shows the thermophysical properties of hybrid nanofluid that introduced by Ostop and Abu Nada in 2008. We use these properties in our mathematical modeling derivation. In this research, uh, we use nanoparticle alumina and titania. In table 2, thermophysical properties of nanoparticle and water as a base fluid also introduced by Allstop and Abu Nada 2008. The parental number for water as base fluid is 6.2. Section 3 Results and Discussion We extend the paper of Bakar et al. 2019 where the authors examine the boundary layer flow in nanofluid over a stretching or shrinking cylinder. However, in this paper, we extend with the hybrid nanofluid as we look at table 3, that is the comparison of skin friction coefficient when hybrid nanoparticle is absent, where VARFI1 and VARFI2 are equal to 0. So table, show, table 3 shows that the method validated with the previous work by Bakar et al. Figure 1 shows variation of skin friction coefficient with gamma for different var phi 2 when S equal to 2 and PR equal to 6.2. Var phi 2 is correspond for uh, titania. So uh, in this figure, it shows that dual solution exists uh, for the straight line and dash line and also the small value of uh, titania, which is var phi 2, it gives the white uh, dual solution axis. So the conclusion is the small value of var 2 it is white the dual solution axis, which is for uh, gamma critical equal to negative 0 0.0266. The similar trend also found in 
uh, figure two where variation of uh, skin friction uh, sorry heat transfer rate with gamma for different VAR V2 when suction equal to 2 and PR equal to 6.2. Uh, in this uh, figure, dual solution also exists and uh, the small value of VAR V2 also uh, widen the dual solution exists. Figure 3 shows variation of skin friction coefficient with S for different values of gamma when PR equal to 6.2. From the figure, it is clearly shows that dual solution are exist. And uh, for the small value of gamma 0 0.01, it also widen the dual solution exist, which is uh, such a critical equal to 1.8614. Also in figure four, the same trend can be found in uh, this figure where um, those solution uh, exist and the small values of gamma is equal to 0 0.01 uh, give the uh, widen the dual solution exists. Figure 5 uh, depicted the velocity profile for different uh, slip parameter when shrinking surface is uh, considered where epsilon equal to negative 1 and printer number equal to 6.2. Moreover, in figure 6 shows the temperature profile for different sigma epsilon parameter when shrinking cylinder is considered uh, and printer number equal to 6.2. And lastly, for figure 7, it is temperature profile for different byte number when shrinking cylinder is considered and printer number equal to 6.2. For all these three profiles, uh, in figure 5 to 7, asymptotically satisfied all the boundary condition. Physically, the existence of dual solution, it means that the separation of the flow from the plate is occurred. Section 4, Conclusion. The conclusion in this paper uh, is the non-unit or dual solution is obtained in the presence of shrinking cylinder uh, where epsilon equal to negative 1 and suction parameter as greater than 0. The dual solution exists in a certain range of critical value gamma C and SC. The decreasing values of nanoparticle volume fraction var V2 titania and curvature parameter gamma widen the dual solution exists in the study. The decreasing values of var V2 titania and curvature parameter gamma tend to increase the fluid flow skin friction coefficient and the increasing value of sigma uh, which is slip parameter will increase the fluid flow. Next, the decreasing values of nanoparticle volume fraction var V2 and curvature parameter gamma partial slip sigma and bayet number tends to increase the fluid temperature which is heat transfer rate. Section references, this is the main references that we use in this study. That's all from me. Thank you.